That's what we want to know. There he goes. Oh, wait a minute. I got a prisoner in there by the name of Breeden holding for me. You follow the hundred. I'll come after you in my own car. <laughs> Finish of the green hornet. There's a reward offered for his capture. Sure, and I'm collecting it. That's not the green hornet, that's Ferranti, boss of the Builders Association. And he's dead. But by golly, the hundred chair someplace, I seen him driving the car. <laughs> by golly, but that's the hundred stealing me new car. <laughs> oh, that beautiful car. Dirty. Say, that was the Green Hornet, all right. Here's a seal. Climb in, we'll get him. Get him? With him driving my car? Sure, we haven't got a chance. You think uh, Ferranti could have been head of the crime syndicate? No, I'm sure he's not. He's taking his orders from someone higher up. Look, I found this in his pocket. Who is this Krogan? I don't know, but I think the Sentinel could find out. If someone sent it an anonymous letter. I understand. Is this in the mail case? No, Mr. Reed. A boy delivered it. I asked him to wait, but he ran out. I think they should read international, not national. International Enterprises is a big concern. Send Lowry in to me, and then get me international's phone number. Yes, sir. Oh, Chief? We're in the clear. Have you seen Breeden? Yes, he'll not involve us. He'll stick to his story and blame everything on Ferranti. Good. Then we've nothing to fear from the police or the press. Mr. Britt Reed of the Sentinel on the phone. Hold it a minute. You can't talk to him. I think it'd better. If you don't, he'll wonder why. You're right. We're in the clear on this brandy business. Hello, Reed. Krogan speaking. Yes, Krogan. The Sentinel's running a series of articles on local industries. I'd like to have an interview with you. Certainly, Reed. I'd be glad to cooperate. Why not come for the interview yourself? Well, thank you very much. I'd, li I'd like to meet you, but uh, if I can't come, I'll send one of my best men, Mr. Lowry. All right. Goodbye. You need to know how good I am, my boss. You'll have to prove how good you are on this job. If this anonymous letter means anything, there's a connection between Krogan and the crime syndicate. Suffering snakes. Maybe Krogan's the green hornet. Let me talk to him. Sure, I've seen the hornet so often, I know just what he looks like behind the mask. I'm afraid Krogan isn't the hornet, Michael. And we'll let Lowry do the talking. Oh, but I've seen him so many times. Oh, all right. You've also seen the members of the crime syndicate. Now, while he's in Krogan's office, 
You watch the building. If any of those men come out... I'll nab the sparrow pigs. You'll do nothing of the kind. You'll trail them. Find out where they go and report to me. Now, on your way, both of you. I appreciate you. You heard him. I'll bounce a knuckle off your skull. I have a strong suspicion that the Sentinel has discovered something connecting international enterprises with our syndicate. Sure, and when Reed starts anything, he never quits. If Reed suspects us, he'll have the building watched. Yeah, and he and his reporters know me and some of the other men by sight. That's what I'm getting at. Stay away from this building. Communicate with me through Kane's office. Now clear out before that reporter gets here. That's the building over there. Suffering snake. What's the matter? You get punching. There's one of them now. Go ahead, follow him. Make sure he don't spot you. You're telling me a veteran's truth, you young smart aleck. It's time Reed was here if he's coming. Mr. Lowry of the Sentinel, see you. Lowry. I thought so. Reed is too cagey to come himself. You want to let the reporter get away? Of course. He won't get anything from me. Keep undercover. Send Mr. Lowry in. Mr. Krogan? Mr. Lowry? Hmm. Alone? Why, yes. Why? I thought Mr. Reed might come with you. Mr. Reed was unable to come. He's busy with the district attorney about this Ferranti case. I see. Well, what can we do for you? Now, my paper would like to know all about international enterprises. Our chance to get him. <laughs> We've got to beat it. That's fine, Mr. Krogan. I had no idea your company was connected with so many interests. No, we're quite a concern. Business is increasing every day, and we give our customers a fair return on their investment. I'm sure you do. Oh, by the way, your company does quite a bit of construction work. Do you have any labor troubles? Labor troubles? Yes, your company employs so many men, I thought maybe you might have bumped up against Ferrani and some of his activities. Ferrani was intimidating and robbing the men of the association. So I understand. But I never heard of Ferrani until your newspaper started his campaign against him. Well, thanks for the interview, Mr. Krogan. You've been a lot of help. Think they've got anything? I don't know. I wonder why he brought up the name of Ferrani. You think this investigation's lab will be dangerous? I think ahead, Franks. That's why I'm head of this syndicate. And I think it's time we change the base of our operations to some other city. Told the others? No, I've chosen you for my confidence, because you have the keenest brain of any of my followers. Gee, boss, I'm glad you got confidence in me. To show you how much I trust you, I'm going to let you in on a secret. For the past two months, I've had Kane quietly disposing of securities. Practically all the resources of the syndicate have been turned into cash, and it's in that safe. Yeah, but if Kane's been selling this stuff, he must... Oh, you overestimate Kane's intelligence. I gave him a plausible reason for selling, and he suspects nothing. Tower and some of the others are outside. Send them in. Hello, man. What's up? Plenty. I gotta get in touch with the chief right away. Hello, Krogan. You were right. Reed did have the building watch. Mike Axford tailed us and... No, we didn't get him. The police interfered. All right. Keep away from this building. I'll communicate with you through Kane. One of Reed's men spotted Tower leaving here. That means that you and I will have to clear out tonight. Tonight? Yes. Go to Spike. Get him to prepare a time bomb at once. A time bomb? It'll be placed in that safe. We'll blow up the office. And I will appear to have been robbed and put out of the way. 
If the chief's in danger, we ought to do something. Don't worry about the chief. We're the ones that are in danger. Krogan needs to run out on all of you. Run out? We're not declaring a dividend. What do you mean? Some time ago, he came to me with a cock and bull story about accumulating a lot of money for a big enterprise. Since then, he's been turning everything into cash. Why, that double crossing. And I suppose he banked it in his personal account. No, he'd want the money where he could put his hands on it in a hurry. Unless I miss my guess, he's got over a half a million dollars in his office safe right now. In his office safe, eh? Why, I can open that box easier than you can open a can of sardines. We're getting that money tonight. Yeah, but Krogan may be there. It'll be just fine. Come on. If we can believe Krogan, his business is on the up and up. He's even willing to have his books examined. I'd say we made a wrong guess if it wasn't for the guy that acts for his trailing. Well, that man could have been in the building and still had nothing to do with Krogan. We'll have to wait till Axford reports. You were right, Reed. Krogan's our man. Send a load of cops. How'd you fail that guy? I trailed him into an alley. Like a bloodhound, I was on his track. And when I come out the other end, he vanished like a spook. <laughs> and you used to be a cop. I... <laughs> <laughs> Cato, Mr. Axford is asleep. Good. He might decide to do something on his own and spoil our plans. Lock the door. Krogan is the head of the syndicate, Mr. Britt. That's something for the Green Hornet to find out. If Krogan isn't the man, he knows who is. the others? Never divide unless you have to. I'm right about not dividing, don't you, Franks? Absolutely right, Krogan. <coughs> Drop that gun, Krogan. Green Hornet. Indulging in a little private murder, eh, Krogan? Get back to your desk. What do you want? The head of the crime syndicate. And I think I've got him at last. You've guessed right, Hornet. I am the head. And you're here for a cut-in. But you'll have to talk fast. What's the rush? I'm leaving here in five minutes to catch the China Clipper. I want more than a cut-in. All right. What is it? A written statement listing all your associates. There's half a million in those cases. I'll give you the statement you want, on one condition, that we split the money 50-50. But I've got to get away from here. Take up your pen. I'll dictate the terms. There's a light. Someone's up there. All the better. We know what to do with him. Sign it. Drop that gun, Hornet. So that's your game, Krogan. The partnership with the Green Hornet, leaving the rest of us to hold the bag. Get out quick, there's a bomb. Shut up, you. Keep him covered while I tear the Hornet's mask off.
Mr. Reed. Chief of Police Harding. How do you do, Mr. Reed? Hello, Chief. Glad to have you here. I hope it's not official business. Well, in a way, it is. Krogan's confession, which reached us anonymously, has enabled us to arrest most of his followers in the last 48 hours. Oh, that's splendid. Because of the important part played by the Sentinel in breaking up this crime ring, the mayor has empowered me to present to you this badge of honorary police commissioner. Well, now, hold on, Chief. I've done nothing but sit at my desk. This honor and badge of office should go to these two men who have been on the front line. Well, Axford, man of action here, did all the fighting. Ah, go on, will you? <laughs> Chief, Lowry's right. Axford here is the battle-scarred veteran. Thanks, Reed. And you, Chief, I'll wear it with a great deal of pride and try to live up to all it stands for. Well, I still think the Green Hornet deserves the medal. And someday I'm going to pin one on him. Well, you... you uh, Casey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs>